When you can't decide on one font to use, why not use all of them? This is Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on Game Informer's Test Chamber. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew Reiner, and I got Brian Vore here. Hey. He, he reviewed the game for us and enjoyed it immensely. And then we have one of Donkey Kong's biggest fans, not of the games, but just of Donkey Kong himself, Dan Riker. I'm a big fan of the games, too. They're well, great. not as big as Donkey Kong, though. I get the last one, always running around the office banging your chest. Like, that's I'm Donkey true. Kong. That that's red true. tie you always wear. Yeah, that's me. All right, I'm looking forward to this. I've not so we're playing Ben Hansen's game, which means it's probably incomplete, uh, and he's probably he, like has two lives left. Yeah, and he recommended we play a certain level, so it's probably the one he's stuck on. All right, so he said three, one. You probably want to get out of World Five. It's probably yep, yep, pretty rough for jumping in. Well, there's not numbers. Is this three? Oh, there we go. All right, three, one. We'll head that way. So this is I'm, the sequel uh, to what was it? The Wii game? Yeah, Donkey yes. Kong Country Returns. Fantastic. By Retro fantastic Studios. Game. Which I didn't, I didn't begrudge them. Uh, I, I'm not jealous of their uh, having to come up with a name for this game because it can't be Returns Two. That would just be ridiculous. That's true. All right, bring an extra heart in there with me. You know what you're doing, kid. I love the last one. I need to play through this one. So Hanson recommended two levels to us. Hopefully, they're just not terrible. I'm sure he loved it for some weird reason, and they're just as charming and great as all the other levels. And he's upstairs watching the video, just going, <laughs> "I like that song." <laughs> yeah. I, this this world is actually pretty cool. It's the kind of like uh, savanna world. There's all kinds of variety. Um, there's one later on that's just like the yeah. whole forest fire, and like there's all these silhouettes and cool lighting, and that's kind of um, basically the whole game is just like really really awesome looking levels, but also very creative uh, with a lot of uh, unique elements to the stages. Feels like you're always kind of doing something different. How do you do the blowy thing? That does not exist anymore. Yo, you don't blow the d dandelions or daffodils, or whatever they're called anymore. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. It's just a hand, like slapping the ground, the standard roll, all that business. Boy, having no motion controls every time I want to roll is just great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. And those now uh, instead of just jungle Diddy, penguins, it up. damn it. What are those? Okay, there here we go. go. Ah. Instead of just Diddy Kong this time around, you also get. Uh, Dixie and Cranky Kong, and they all have different powers. Well, I'm and glad I picked the one that everyone's seen for years. Oh, yeah. Good. Way to show off the variety in the game. You'll also notice the Kong so what letters return. does Dixie return. do? Um, Dixie has kind of like a Yoshi-style jump, like a flutter jump type of thing, where you kind of jump up and you hit the button again, and then she kind of dips a little, but then gets a little higher by the end of the jump. Whoa. And Cranky has a uh, DuckTales-style cane jump, which can get you higher um, than a normal jump, and uh, the cane stomp can go like survive spikes and other dangerous things. This is pretty nice. solid. Yeah, you're yeah. doing pretty good. See, I bet Hanson loved the puppet drafts and freaked <laughs> out. And oh yeah, yeah. I mean, this is fine. This is a good level, but yeah, it's great. I'm sure he just freaked out. Like, so I think you want to do the. Whoa. Yeah, that's what, that would have been my theory. It's been a while since I played this, but I do remember this level being pretty sweet with the crazy. Uh, puppets and stuff and it keeps just escalating what I think was cool about the game as well it feels like the levels are actually quite long there's many checkpoints throughout um, lots of variety and Dan's I don't want to jinx him but Dan has been doing pretty well not uh, no falling in pits so far <laughs> you're in the savannah why do you have to make fake giraffe uh, man. Well, you can't ride it Ryan what's up with that fiction yeah. in there <laughs> okay. I don't know. You couldn't blow up a real giraffe's head. That's true. That'd be a little graphic. Oh, yeah. That's how you keep this E10 okay, cranky. plus, right? There you go. Cranky. So how, I've never controlled Cranky Whoa! in my life. How does this work? So if you jump and then you hit either the roll or the slam button, then he'll put pull his cane out. I or just maybe tried both of those. Yeah, neither. It's been a long, it's been a long time. Whatever the... Uh, oh, it's just a double jump. It's oh! just a jump again. Yeah, there you go. That's okay. the easiest easiest thing. Duck so what's, tails. What's cool, you'll see this a lot in the game, uh, is the background's kind of dancing along to the music. Um, there's one level, I think, in World 2, where you have those, like, Ricola-style um, alpine horns, and they, like, they go along with that music, too, and they kind of shoot platforms up and down to the beat of the music, and there's, like, cute penguin guys in the background puffing away on them, so... It's just a really slick presentation overall. Ooh, menacing snake. He's looking pretty good for Donkey Kong here. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is nice. Just 1080p, looking great. Mm. Hey, Brian, 
I just saw an owl there. I don't mean to call you up, but I'm going to call you out. Okay. Uh, you were reviewing the game right next to my office in the conference. Oh. We have a nice big 70-inch HD TV set up in there. And That's right. For a good hour, I heard you screaming profanities at an owl and threatening its life and just kind of losing your mind in there. What was going on? Oh, my gosh. The, uh, the owl boss, relatively early in the game, I would say in the first half of the game, he's... Oh. Uh, He's uh, he's real rough. In fact, uh, most of the bosses are quite challenging. Um, take a lot of uh, learning the patterns and uh, um, just getting everything perfectly down. But, and there's uh, no checkpoints in the boss battles or anything like that, right? No, but they are nice. They do give you um, a partner character at the very beginning of each boss battle. So you have four hits. Um, so they're generous in that way. Um, but yeah, that owl guy uh, just really wow. got me. And it was what well, tricky part about that too is that it's multi-stage, so you kind of have to wait for him to have an opening to get him. So it just takes forever to get back to where you to where you were. Okay, um, Anson, this is a good level. Yeah, yeah. yeah people, it's people good. in the office are like, "You're doing a Game Informer overheard of Brian like talking to this owl, right?" And I was like, "We couldn't print like 90% of the stuff I'm hearing." <laughs> it's pretty dirty, yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty bad. This. Yeah. Oh, dear. Ooh, almost. Oh, that's so fun. now instead of shaking the remotes like an idiot when you <laughs> want to punch the crap out of something, you can just jam on the triggers, which oh, is nice. Oh, that's nice. Um, it should be noted that uh, the controls are very flexible. Um, you can use the gamepad, of course, but also um, Wii remotes, the Pro controller, which is which is the the way to do it. Is co-op only local, or can you do it uh, over online too? It is just local co-op. What level did uh, Hanson want us to do here? I believe it was 4-4 four, four he liked. I rate 8. Yeah. That probably refers to an octopus. Quite possibly. Alrighty. But yeah, this is a good way to show off the, the new swimming areas too because um, the first game didn't have swimming. Mm -mm. Yeah, I always liked those in the original uh, Donkey Kong this trilogy. Swordfish buddy? Yeah, he was great. Yeah, I liked him. He's not here. But What?! But your partner characters um, do some cool stuff. Like, you'll see uh, Dixie if you get her. Um, her ponytail, you can make it spin in the water so she can go real fast. Diddy has a little um, some jet boosters underwater. And Cranky can actually attack guys with his cane underwater. Ooh. Oh, oh nice dive. dive. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Look at Olympics. this. And I don't know if you guys at home can hear, but the, uh, the, the music changes when you go underwater. Always sounds really, really cool transition. This looks really good. You do have to worry about air consumption, though. So oh, it's check, like a sonic. Keep an eye right. out for uh, bubbles. Ah, uh, gotcha. Hey, Dixie. Come here, you. What? How do I grab you? There you go. So if you there's a bubble. There you go. There's another. Uh, Get the bubble. There's another. Uh, so if you, I think if you hold down like the big oh, crap push button, she will continue to spin her. Ponytail. That is not happening. Okay. <laughs> Just stay alive. That's most important. So what's the big conflict here, oh. Brian, in this game? Bananas well, missing again? It's called Tropical Freeze. That does not mean, as you can see, that every level is a crazy ice level. Um, basically, these uh, this kind of Bubbles. Viking animal animals have shown up, showed up in these uh, big ships, and this bad guy... Blue horn and a ice dragon came around and froze Donkey what? Kong's whole ice up, whole <laughs> island. Yeah, so it's basically Game of Thrones is the plot here. Winter is coming to uh, Donkey Kong Island. Exactly. Um, so then uh, the whole Kong family was kind of tossed into these other nearby islands, which is what we're going through to get back to the original island, which is now completely frozen. And so the last world is oh god, is a awesome. crazy area. Octodad. That looks cool. Oh, God. Whoa, what am I not supposed to touch here? Oh, my God, look at Just that. Just keep going. It's like Crash Bandicoot. Oh, my God. Go! I'm trying. His turn radius is Get rough. your bubbles. Oh, ah. good Lord. You're doing it. Uh, Neat. Uh, turn, you idiot. Oh, good oh, Lord. Oh, no! Oh, learn how to oh, swim, you, you damn out. ape. Get out of the goo! Jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. But, yeah, there's all kinds of this one-off craziness just um any any time you jump into a new level you never really know what to expect it seems like the levels are longer than in the uh, original as well 
yes i would uh, i would agree in that it's um and very um very varied as well oh boy like this kind of starts off as a normal level and then it just goes nuts with the second half so how would you say that, Dan, I'm going to ask you this. How would you say the first game uh, kind of stacked up in terms of difficulty compared to other Nintendo platformers? It is uh, one of the most perfectly balanced in terms of difficulty uh, platformers I've ever played. And that's for, like, skilled players, right? Yes. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. As far as, like, getting all the Kong letters and uh, beating the Golden Temple or whatever levels, like, it is, it is so rewarding and so challenging and so good. One of my favorites, for sure. Oh, my. Yeah, there. Oh, my. Yeah, how much did you go oh, completionist, uh, Brian, on this review? Uh, I didn't really have time to get every Kong letter, but I did do it for the first couple of worlds and checked out the um, the special levels that were unlocked at those times. And um, if you heard any additional swearing, that's where those came from because <laughs> they are absolutely ridiculous. Oh, the, uh, the Spinner first... hair! I can't. Oh my. Brian said you can. Yeah, he said we can, but every button I press doesn't do it. If you hold down this, you spin. Yeah, I'm and holding, then I'm hold it down. holding it down right now. Mm. I keep doing that. You just. I don't know, man. Uh, dude, so many dude buttons how did you not there. see that? I was, I'm trying to get the spin to work. Okay, here we go. You ready? Ooh, I like how he does the dive thing. One really cool thing that the original game did not have is uh, online leaderboards. So while it's only local co-op, these online leaderboards um, are for time attack runs. So you can actually go and check and see how fast people went. Also, also the uh, the top players, it also records their gameplay. Really? So you can watch some guy actually do this well <laughs> and beat the level super fast um and just see all the crazy oh. weird shortcuts that people find oh dude so it's go. it's pretty fascinating to watch i'd say is that a kraken or an octopus oh god that's an octopus is there like a size limitation on saying it's an octopus and not something else i don't know uh, get out of there oh dear get out of there monkey oh that scared me oh well oh. done dan look out what the hell Oh, Holy man. Do it! Crap! Oh, I'm supposed to break that. Uh oh. Break oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, there it is. eat it. Holy crap. Ah. Oh. Uh, well, can't go wrong with bananas. Jeez. All right, look at the awesome fur effects. That's the power of next. Well, that's the power of current gen <laughs> if you've been playing the last. A PS3 or a 360 for the last seven or eight years. <laughs> well, that was Ben Hansen's playlist. Uh, thanks, Brian. Thanks, Dan. Mm -hmm. You did yeah. well. Thank you. It was You're fun. really good at platformers. I, I just like got to say that. They're you my favorite. Thank you. I know we rag on you for FPS and rightfully so, but uh, you know what you're doing on uh, when you're bouncing around with little monkeys and stuff like that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you next time.